Hey guys, and welcome back to Mother's Barbecue. It's that season again. It's getting cold outside. Thanksgiving's right around the corner. So I thought I would take some Thanksgiving kind of ingredients and put together a little something different. So what we're going to do is take a turkey breast. We're going to butterfly it, stuff it with some uh, butternut squash and goat cheese uh, spread. We're going to roll it up, get it on the smoker. This is going to be good. So stick around. All right, so what I got here is one of two chicken breasts. Uh, when I bought this, it came as a, like a chicken breast with a rib meat. And I went ahead and carved out the chicken breast and I saved the skin. So what we're gonna do here is go ahead and we're gonna butterfly this, get it nice and uh, opened up. We're gonna go ahead and uh, tenderize this, spread it out a little bit thinner. All right, for our stuffing, what I got here is some butternut squash that I cubed up, tossed it with a little olive oil, salt and pepper, threw it in the oven about, you know, four or 500 degrees, let it uh, caramelize real nice, get soft, I let it cool down. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of uh, chopped garlic and some good quality uh, goat cheese here. I'm gonna throw in a couple tablespoons of some honey. And I'm gonna throw in about a teaspoon of some dried sage. You can use fresh sage, I couldn't find any, believe it or not. Um, okay, we're gonna go ahead and mash this up. Let's give this a little taste. Mm. I like it. You get that char, little char flavor in there. The goat cheese makes it really uh, creamy and, and like velvety almost. It's got some good flavor, so. Let's go ahead and get our turkey breast back. There, I'm gonna go ahead and put my mixture down the center. Kind of spread it out just a little bit. All right, from here, we're gonna go ahead and just roll this up. Just like that, nice and simple. What I have here is the, the turkey skin that I peeled off and I'm going to go ahead and add this back on. Get it tucked in there. Let's go ahead and just tie this off. I'm going to go ahead and coat it with a little bit of olive oil here. We're going to hit it with our rub again. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let this rest. I'm gonna get the Weber grill started and we'll see you in a little bit. All right, so I got my Weber heated up to about, two, uh, about 225, 230. I'm gonna go ahead and stick my probe. I'm using my Tappacue cue thermometer. Just get that right in the middle. And I'm looking at between 165, 175. So for this cook, I'm gonna be using the Gorilla Q. And this is the first time I'm using this. I'll have a link in the description box for this product. I've seen it out there on YouTube and what I saw, it looked amazing. So I had to give it a try. So the guys over at Gorilla Q sent me one of these to give it a try. So we're gonna, got this set up. I got water in there. We'll get our turkey breast on there. I got some hickory and some pecan in there and we'll let this go. All right guys, so our turkey reached an internal temp of about 165. Uh, on the thinner ends over here, about 170. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this off. Let's go ahead and get it inside so we can uh, serve it up. All right, so here's our turkey breast. I went ahead and removed the strings. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. Well, that looks good. It's still juicy. That butternut squash smells incredible. I'm gonna go ahead and slice me off a nice medallion. Let's go ahead and take a bite of this. Tender. 
That's holiday all wrapped up in one. That butternut squash gives it a sweetness, a creaminess. Turkey's nice and moist. Good smoke flavor to that. That Gorilla Q helped hold those uh, temps really nice. And with that little barrier in there with the water, kept uh, the chamber really nice and uh, moist and stuff. So I think uh, big thumbs up for that. You guys got to give this a try. Remember, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys in the next run. Thanks for watching.